Hello Zija Nation, I'm Dr. Joshua Plant and this week we are actually concluding our several week series on water and the challenges that we have in finding clean, reliable water no matter where we live in the world. Today's topic is coming at somewhat uh, knowledge that we probably are all aware of but we've just ultimately ignored or have failed to understand just the gravity of just how bad our common water is. Today I want to take just a few moments and raise a little bit of an awareness in today's common and bottled waters and the problems that we're seeing in these. At Zija International, the mission of our company is simple, to help people and enrich people's lives through the natural health revolution, understanding that nature's simple solutions of helping us reach that, that optimal health are real, and providing simple and educational tools that help us reach and obtain that life. Sadly, over time, we often think that we can outsmart nature. We start doing certain things to our water systems, to the food we eat, that after we learn, after several years, often too late, it does much harm to our bodies. One of those things that I want to talk about today is our water. Now, our municipality water system, even in the U.S., no matter how great we think it is, is far outdated. In fact, the typical way in which the water is quote-unquote cleansed is the same technology that was used to cleanse the water well before many of the modern toxins that found its way into the water system were ever known. Such things as damaging synthetic pharmaceutical compounds that are either, either removed through our urine system and find their way into our water system or are dumped down the drain. These toxic chemicals have often been overlooked in today's municipalities and find themselves in small but nonetheless damaging amounts over time in our water system. It is these significant yet synthetic and uh, compounding uh, damaging effects of these compounds that can have a real impact on our health and wellness. Now that's just one example. We may look at bottled water as a solution but not understanding that the plastics that it's made out of will often leak damaging compounds such as estrogen mimics that have been known to cause one, difficulty in getting pregnant, but also challenges with respect to breast cancer. Now, in addition to the haphazard chemicals that find themselves into our water system, we also see in many t areas that there is a fundamental agenda to move in contaminants into our water system. We recognize the damaging effects fluoride has on our body, and we look to ignore those facts for the small benefit that they may have on our teeth. What we are seeing is that there's a rise in liver toxicity syndromes that are corresponding to that of the fluoride compound that is so adamantly demanded to be in our water. Studies have suggested that fluoride, though may moderately better our dental care, is so damaging to our liver but also our mental capabilities with respect to our ambition, motivation, and our drive creating a sedentary, lazy lifestyle. Now, we have seen in a variety of things that these small chemicals and compounds have found themselves into our water system. Not to mention, the damaging pesticides that we use on our crops eventually leach into the groundwaters uh, that fuel many of our municipality water systems. DEET, for example, is found in exceptionally high amounts in many water systems throughout America and the developed world. Additionally, when we look at the toxic chemicals that are found from toluenes to benzenes to you name it that come from living in an industrialized world, we are simply living in a contaminant world and we are embracing the most pure element that is necessary for life with those contaminants each and every time we drink. Now, water is found in many different places, in the crops uh, that we use to grow our food, to the water obviously we drink, but it's also found in a variety of other things that we cook, meaning water's contaminants, though we may boil out the water, we may uh, use it in the ground to, to water our plants, those toxins will remain or be distilled and in many ways even enriched, making that the food we eat or the water we drink a toxic reservoir that we continually embrace in our lives. Now, what I wanted to do on this call is let you know that Zija International is about providing solutions. In the Ersirat Convention, I have worked extensively since five years I've been here, understanding just how much of an urgent matter this is, and I'm excited to hopefully be presenting the most revolutionary solution to these challenges we face. 
There are many things out there that we don't know, but the things that we do know we should embrace. And one of those things is the toxic amounts of chemical synthetic compounds that are in our water. That's not to mention, for example, lead, which the World Health Organization, European Union, and a variety of other governmental organizations allow to be as high as 10 parts per million. This isn't natural lead that's found in the soil, but rather, this is toxic lead found in pipes and other compounds. And it just takes about 20 micrograms to ultimately have such an impact on our mental health capacity. Now, these things we see in so many different places. In fact, we see a variety of different bacteria and viruses found in our water system. And I want to provide a solution that no longer requires an immense amount of knowledge or income to live and to take part of this clean water. And I'm excited to announce at convention some of these exciting things that are happening. Now, with this, I thank you all for all of your attention that you have dedicated to the Natural Health Education Series. We're going to continue this going throughout. Learnings from such individuals as Dr. Scott Johnson, Vaughn Johnson, uh, Shelley McGuire, Nick Nicole Johnson, these individuals are very ex uh, experienced and knowledgeable in their respective areas. And each and every one of them are going to be unveiling several different products at convention. I encourage each and every one of you, if you haven't done so, to do so now. Register for the Zija Summit. Commit today to beginning the new you. And that first step is going to be registering at Summit. You're going to be hearing from some of the most profound keynote speakers on health and wellness topics. In fact, the typical price of what it would cost to listen to the ex-ambassadors, you are able to pay much less and get a much more intimate concert to watch those individuals play some of their greatest hits at one of the events. Masquerade balls, breakouts, over 70 different breakouts, learning from industry leaders about products, building businesses, or whatever the topic may be. This is an event you can't miss. And I'm excited to reveal some of the most incredible, steadfast, proven data you will see in the health and wellness space and well over the last 300 years will be revealed at this event. I look forward to seeing you there.